Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. All right, let's do this thing. Tax time is upon us. Woo! Yes! Said no one ever. If you have student loans, it is possible that these debts could impact your tax return. So let's take a look at what student loan borrowers need to know about their taxes in 2022. Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show. So from getting a tax deduction to the COVID-19 student loan pause, we're going to explore all that you need to know today. In partnership with our good friends at H&R Block, let's go ahead and look at how your student loans could affect your taxes in 2022. H&R Block, by the way, is one of our top picks for tax software because it's just like easy. Plus, they have one of the most robust free filing options that also includes student loan interest deduction. Check them out at thecollegeinvestor.com. First of all, don't count your student loans as income. If you took out student loans in 2021, don't count those as income when you file your tax return this year. As a student loan borrower, you will be obligated to repay these funds. With that, you don't have to count that money as income for this year. If you're receiving scholarships or fellowships, these funds may or may not be taxable. The distinction will depend on the details of your scholarship. In fact, in 2019, the year of the most recently available data, by the way, over $3.9 billion in scholarships was taxable. Ah! If you use the funds for tuition, fees, or books, then no, the income is not taxable. But if you're using the funds to cover room and board, travel, research, or some optional equipment, that new iPad, that income is generally taxable. If you're not sure, h and Block Online, of course, will walk you through it. They also have tax pros, too, that can help. It is possible to deduct your student loan interest. For a ton of borrowers, student loan payments were paused throughout 2021. However, for borrowers with private student loans and those with non-federally held loans like FFEL or Perkins loans, you, you may have had to pay interest. Now, if you consolidated your old student loans during 2021, any capitalized interest is considered paid and you'd have to report that on your, on your tax return. I know this can be confusing. Now, you may be able to deduct up to 2500 bucks in student loan interest, which is huge. That's from what you paid on your taxable income this year. There are income limits, though, to keep in mind. You can't earn more than eighty-five grand as a single filer or head of household or $170,000 if you're married filing jointly. If you make more than these income limits, you're not going to qualify for this deduction opportunity. If you're not sure if you qualify, yep, H&R Block can help. They'll just talk through some simple questions about your student loan payments or the 1098E you would have received from your loan servicer. You can start that up, H&R Block Online, for absolutely free, by the way, at thecollegeinvestor.com. And I'll be sure to touch on that as well throughout the show today. Forgiven student loans may be taxed. Some people don't realize this, but if you are a borrower who has qualified for student loan forgiveness, this might affect your taxes this year. The circumstances surrounding your student loan forgiveness are going to depend on whether or not you'll have to pay taxes on the forgiven amount. So it's important to note that all student loan forgiveness is tax-free federally through 2025, but some states still levy a tax on forgiven student loans. Another point that we want to make today, check your eligibility for education tax breaks because there are several tax breaks that you can get for spending money on your education. If you've paid for school-related expenses in the last year, you might qualify for an education tax credit depending on your situation. You might choose an American Opportunity Tax Credit or maybe even the Lifetime Learning Credit. These deductions could help to significantly decrease your federal tax burden by up to $2,500. Pretty nice uh, little tax break there. However, of course, there are income limits to this thing. <laughs> H&R Block Online is going to walk you through exactly what you're eligible for based on how much you spent. If you're not sure how much you spent, keep an eye out for the form 1098T that your school should send you in January. Also, employers might help with student loans without taxes. 
Some employers are pretty awesome and help their employees with a tuition reimbursement plan that covers student loan repayment assistance. Keep an eye out for those buzzwords wherever you work. If your employer offers this opportunity, they can contribute up to $5,250 in payments towards your student loans each year. Crazy! The best part? These payments are going to be tax-free for you. As of right now, this opportunity is in place until January 1st, 2026. Boom! Make sure that you report this income accurately, though, as it will reflect on your W-2. But it's actually not considered taxable income, which is very good news. Now, if you need some help with this, because, yeah, it can get very confusing, and we only spend about five minutes on it, you might need a little bit more time to talk through it. You can talk to a tax professional. Tax season, let's just say nobody wrote, it's the most wonderful time of the year based on tax season, okay? Unfortunately, the process of amassing documents and filing your taxes really isn't fun at all. If student loans are a part of your financial picture, then you may need some help sorting through all of your options. Luckily, you don't have to go it alone. Instead, you can talk to a tax professional. Competent tax professionals can guide you through the whole process and make it very easy. And, of course, it's easy, too, to find a helpful tax professional at H&R Block Online or in just one of the 12,000 branches they have nationwide. 12,000? Jeez. With the help of an H&R Block tax professional, you can avoid the headaches involved with filing your taxes alone. Plus, you'll have the peace of mind that comes with a professional experience. If you have student loans and you want to file your taxes without any doubts at all, it'll be worth it to reach out to H&R Block today. You can find a link. We have reviews of H&R Block's software that you can do online. It's all at thecollegeinvestor.com. Hey, thanks again for stopping by today. Hey, we'll talk to you again real soon.